Hey guys, Rendon here with TJ Free. In this video, I want to quickly talk about the computer setup behind me and mostly talk about the fact that I have two different computers that are hooked to the same monitor, keyboard and mouse, microphone, uh, printer, network drives, all of that, and I switch between the two with the press of a button. So it's kind of a slick setup, and I just kind of wanted to show it off to you guys and uh, get your take on it, and also inspire anyone else that wants to do this same thing. If you've seen some of my videos, then you know that I am primarily a Linux user. I try to stay away from Windows and Windows-only software. Most of the software that I use and share with you runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's cross-platform, uh, which I think is really good for end users. But occasionally there'll be a program that only runs on Windows. And so I have this set up right now. This is the Windows computer. So what I have to do is just press a button right here on this USB switcher. And that switches over the keyboard and mouse, uh, my drawing tablet, my USB microphone, and anything else that happens to be plugged into that USB hub. Could be like a USB drive. Uh, it switches that all over. And then for the monitor, uh, it has integrated sound. So I just have to go through to the source over here and press this button and change the source on the monitor from DVI, uh, I'm sorry, from DisplayPort to HDMI. Um, and that's really just it. And so I'll show you that process, but first let me just give you a tour of the different equipment here on my home setup. So I'll grab the camera. This is my main display. It's the Acer Predator. So it's 34 inches from corner to corner. Uh, it's a uh, 1440p display. And uh, so it's not 4K, and I have it at 1440 right now. Uh, it's a great monitor. It's curved, so you can see it kind of has a curved contour. I got these little LEDs on the back. I can change the color. But it's a great monitor. It has built-in speakers, and I really like this monitor a lot. Uh, down here, I have, this is the actual USB hub that I press. So when I press this button here, it switches over. So the mouse and keyboard right now is working on this computer. And when I press this button, it'll switch over to the Windows computer. So this right here is the Linux computer. And this is the Windows computer. They're kind of similar in specs. They're, they're nice computers. Um, but right now, so if I move my mouse, we're not seeing it on the screen at all. And so if we go over, all I have to do to, to get back to the screen is press this, change the source to HDMI and push enter. And now we're on the Windows computer. So now this is Windows. We have all different files here, everything you'd expect to find in Windows. And most importantly, my microphone still works. My keyboard still works. Uh, my drawing tablet's not hooked up right now, but my drawing tablet uh, would, would be plugged in there. So anything that's plugged in, if I play sound, it'll come out the monitor still. I don't have to unplug and reconnect the monitor. It's all just, all the wires in here are just plugged in to the back of this USB switcher to make all that happen. So this has um, four different input devices, and then these two USB ports on the back, one of them is going over here to my Windows computer, the other one's going over here to my Linux computer, and it just switches whichever one of those with the press of this button. It switches whichever one there is. So I have two more things I could plug in. I could plug in my phone or a USB drive and toggle between which computer it is on. Um, a couple questions you might have. Ooh, why I didn't virtualize. So for a while I was virtualizing Windows inside of Linux. But because I do screencast, I was having trouble um, configuring open broadcaster software to record the screen, and, and I record at 1080p, 60fps, and I just wasn't pleased with the quality. Um, so that's why these two systems are, 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 I have dedicated hardware for each. It's also nice if I'm video editing in one or rendering or doing something intensive in one, I can switch over to the other one. I have network attached storage uh, here. In fact, I'll show you that too real quick. So let's come for a tour. This is just my my house. This is one of the bedrooms. But in here, I have a server, and I'm actually going to make a video on this in the future. So this closet is where all of everything comes in. My routers and uh, a bunch of my, my network equipment is just here in this closet. And right here is my uh, network attached storage. So we have the hard drives are on the other side of this case. I'll show you a video of making this. Um, this just runs 24-7 and has all of my uh, hard drives. I think it has 12 terabytes worth of storage in there. So I use that for uh, yeah, for, for sharing data between the two computers, between um, this computer here. The specs on these, I did a video on this one. This is my old main computer that runs Windows now. What, what I really like about this computer is that it can, uh, 
you can plug in a two and a half inch hard drive right in the front of the computer. So right here, you can just pop this in and uh, you can run like different, you could, uh, this is a solid state, but you could do a spin drive as well. Both of them have USB ports and headphones accessible on the computer themselves, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think, yeah, and my headphones right now, I only have plugged into just this computer. So I'd have to physically unplug these and use the headphones over here if I wanted to do that. But that's not something I do very often. Well, that's really what I wanted to show you was just that uh, kind of this switching setup. And I've made a couple of videos in front of this setup and haven't really talked about it. So and I think it's kind of a, it's kind of a slick setup. I like it. If you have any questions for me about this setup, please leave them below. I'd love to hear your questions and comments and look forward to catching you in a future video.